guys, welcome back. So I wanted to make this more of a relaxed, realistic, casual style vlog and chat a little bit about hormone balance and the birth control pill. So I have just recently finished reading this book called Beyond the Pill by Dr. Jolene Brighton and I highly recommend it. I always like to read books to stay up to date and to keep myself motivated and to see, you know, there's always things to learn. I definitely do not know everything. Yeah, so I highly recommend buying the book. What I actually did was I um, did the whole cleanse for myself. So what I did is I basically took her cleanse and changed some things. So I changed the lifestyle aspect. I changed some of the supplements. I changed some of the meal schedules. So if you guys want my version, of her 30-day hormone detox, her plan, then go on my website, so shelbynaturals.com, add your email, so a little sub uh, subscribe pop-up will come up and you can add your email there or you can scroll to the bottom of the homepage and add your email to subscribe to our newsletter. I'm hoping to send those out this weekend so you guys can get that before Monday. I'm starting on Monday and then we can start all together and follow each other along on social media. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. So just Shelby Naturals is our handle and yeah, give us a follow. And what I found out in this book, even though I personally have never been on the birth control pill, I have definitely experienced a lot of hormonal imbalance in my life, along with my acne and just all of the issues I had with my period and with just really bad cramping and irregularity. And anyways, um, I right now I'm just really dealing with finding a balance not only with my hormones but in my life and with my schedule so what I really love about this book is that she really breaks things down and simplifies things which I really appreciate and I love how so in the beginning I mean I'm always I'm one of those people who just like loves the quizzes to like put myself in a category and we have to understand like we are all so individual and so unique and we just can't stick ourselves into a category and say okay i just have to you know eat these foods and take all these supplements to help my body like it doesn't work that way and i'm that type of person who it's like i'm really good at eating good like whole food whole organic foods i'm really good at taking my supplements you know but i'm not so good at stress reduction and lifestyle changes and you know consistency lately for in the areas of like stress Stress is something that I really need to work on that really like screws everything up for me and my hormones. She does have a hormone quiz in the beginning of her book, which I really liked. So you can go through and kind of tick off what your symptoms are, how you're feeling lately. I am in category C, which basically is, um, so it's too little progesterone. So that there's different categories, too much estrogen, too little estrogen, too little progesterone, yeah, which is me too much testosterone, too little testosterone, too little cortisol, too much cortisol, and too little thyroid hormone. So you can really, I like how she does, like what hormones are you uh, specifically imbalanced in? Like obviously when one's imbalanced, they all are, but um, it really helps you to focus in on lifestyle changes and on like certain supplements and foods to be eating. Um, in this video, I wanted to really talk about a solution for where to start. Um, to balance your hormones and for me that was always just it was always so overwhelming and even now like i really like to be totally honest with you guys um i just had a really stressful week i've been really stressed out my schedule has been all over the place i can't wake up in the morning i'm going to bed really late it's just a, a mess <laughs> so i really want to, i find what's so great about doing a cleanse or a detox is that you have that schedule and you have your meal schedule you have to go grocery shopping get the foods you need so it's kind of like you have to follow this you have to sleep more and it really helps to develop habits and put balance and just to bring a little bit more of a schedule into your personal life like for me i just work all the time i mean don't get me wrong like i love shelby naturals and i love my business and i love what i do but the downside with that is that like i don't know when to stop sometimes and have more balance in my life and you know like exercise every day and you know eat three you know eat meals every day um you know i can go without eating and exercise and just keep working and it's like no like you're supposed to enjoy life and you're supposed to have more balance because that's what fuels you and hello like if you're not taking care of yourself 
problems are gonna happen and problems are happening and I'm starting to be like just really exhausted and really like demotivated so yeah time for a cleanse so I'm, I'm actually really excited about this because I've just been craving um, a detox really it's the end of summer I am noticing I'm breaking out more and like I said I'm just tired and low energy and I need something that is going to basically force me to take more care of myself and to really structure my schedule better hence this, these plants so so her program is 30 days and you might be thinking oh man 30 days it's honestly not that hard and um, for someone if you're watching this and it's your first time doing a detox you know you're experiencing um, you want to get off the birth control pill you have PCOS endometriosis like any type of hormonal imbalance or hormonal issue uh, this is really a simple place to start it's an easy way to start you don't have to do the full 30 days you could do a week you could do two weeks it's just you know whatever you can do that is not gonna stress you out or and if it's your first time ever doing a cleanse just do like three days to a week like if you can do a week great so anyways um, I'm gonna dive in and do the full 30 day just because I basically eat like this already um, so what you're getting rid of in this diet is you're eliminating processed foods so anything packaged or processed sugar um, any wheat like flour baked goods things like that trans fat so any and any oils like canola oil corn oil like really crappy oils you want to focus in GMO oils you don't want that we're focusing on really healthy oils because oils and fats are integral to our hormonal balance and our hormonal health and our skin health so when you're having trans fats and fast foods and fried foods and things like that um, that really affects your skin and your hormones so that's one important thing so we're having oils like avocado oil and coconut oil olive oil so oils like that um, yeah so you're basically just taking out those things and you're replacing it with and rice you know grains things like that starch and we're replacing it with whole living foods we're gonna add in so fruits vegetables no dairy <laughs> so there's not gonna be any dairy which might be a little hard for me because of my coffee but i have oat milk coffee so actually we can't even have coffee what am i talking about so yeah no coffee let me find where she has the no no list and also i like to focus on what you can have like it's like we can have fruits and vegetables and we can have grass-fed meats and fish and if you're a vegetarian then you know you, you can just have tons of fruits and vegetables and um eat that way you can have eggs as well so it's not too restrictive so anyways back to what i was saying about the plan so yeah a sample day is you're waking up you're having lemon water and then you're having for breakfast she has different smoothies pina colada cleanser and things like that and i added my own in my plan for lunches like a uh, kale and cilantro artichoke pesto salad for dinner whole chicken with aromatics and steamed broccoli so she has like different um it the menu sounds really delicious so i'm really excited and the meals seem really easy to prepare which is great for me because i have a really busy schedule and life so it's great and you can like change up the meals to how it fits your life and everything. I am going to head out to the health food store now to pick up some supplements and some supplies that I need. Before I go, I just wanted to tell you guys about what the cleanse entails. So I wrote down the supplements. So basically the supplements that you will be taking, and I will have this again all in the plan that I send out for free if you guys want to do this is a whole food multi uh, I use juice plus probiotic so a good probiotic omega-3 fish oil or an omega-3 that's vegan or vegetarian if you are a vitamin b complex vitamin c a liver support tincture I'm using a tincture you can use a liver support supplement whatever you want to do a glutathione for liver detox collagen so I just use the powder collagen I'm gonna put in my smoothie every morning uh, digestive enzymes a gut repair supplement so like l-glutamine uh, whatever you want to use a uh, slippery elm marshmallow like herbs herbal tea with those uh, two herbs vitex which I'm going to be so vitex is specific for if you have too little progesterone which is um, it's great if you do her quiz in the book so I will be taking Vitex vitamin B and vitamin C which actually helps your body to make its own progesterone so that's really great um, magnesium which is an essential for hormones hormone balance in general selenium and iodine which again is 
I call it essential for hormone balance, minerals, again, essential to absorb all your vitamins. And then I'm gonna be doing a detox drink every morning with bentonite clay, apple cider vinegar, and psyllium husk. Now this is like totally optional to the detox drink. I'm just trying to add in like extra fiber. And the clay is so good at like binding at xenoestrogens, like bad estrogens and chemicals and toxins and taking it out of the body. And it keeps you regular. So that's really, really important when you're cleansing is elimination. So going to the bathroom, doing a healthy bowel movement, you know, one or two times a day. I mean, one, three times a day. So at least you're doing it every single day. Um, then the second thing that I'm adding into this, so of course the food is most important, supplements, which helps you aid in detoxification. And then the third thing is seed cycling. And I've actually found that out from her book. I've actually heard about it from a customer of mine. She's the first one who told me, she was asking me about it and I had no idea because I'd never heard of it. But basically what you're doing is you are taking two tablespoons of specific seeds every day so you're grinding the seeds up you can put in your smoothie she has like recipe you can make your own like energy balls and i'll be setting that recipe out for you guys to check out so for the first one to 14 days of your cycle you're taking black seeds and pumpkin seeds so just mixing uh, two tablespoons of those a day and that helps with estrogen balance apparently and then for the other half of your cycle, day 15 to 30, you are taking sunflower seeds and sesame seeds. And that's supposed to help your progesterone balance. So I haven't done it before. This is gonna be my first time starting. So I'm really excited. Uh, my period's actually supposed to come in a few days, TMI, but yeah, it's supposed to come I think in a few days. So this will actually be perfect because it's like my cycle, your cycle starts when your period starts. And then last but not least, before I leave out the door and take you guys with me, lifestyle so this is where <laughs> i i need the work i need to learn how to take time to chill anyways um enemas every day so i'm gonna really try and do a coffee enema every day i have a video um showing you guys uh, two parts first video is telling you guys the benefits of enemas the second video is showing you how to do it uh coffee enemas are really great for um just kickstarting and helping to accelerate detoxification so taking that burden off your liver and honestly this enemas have just transformed my acne my skin i haven't been doing them i'm gonna be totally honest i think the last enema i did was probably a month ago i'm gonna try and do three a week if i can do one every day amazing i'm gonna try and schedule it in it takes me about an hour but I try and do emails and do other things while I'm doing it. So we'll see, we'll see, but that's the goal. Uh, journaling, gratitude journal every day. So just writing down things that I'm grateful for when the day starts that just really helps us set the perspective for your day and helps you to, you know, not feel sorry for yourself and to be grateful and to be excited for the new day ahead, that you're alive and you're well. Uh, getting outside every day. I haven't been outside in like four days. Okay, uh, exercise daily. I do eccentrics every day. I have a video actually about my exercise routine. So exercising every day, body brushing, gua sha. And again, you guys don't have to do all these. Don't get overwhelmed. I just wrote a list of like things that I want to try and do. Um, I'm definitely not going to be doing like everything every day. Maybe like for the first two days. <laughs> just try your best and um, just do the things that you know you gravitate towards. And uh, the most essential things I would say is just drinking a lot of water. Uh, just do some exercise like even if you can get outside and go for a walk you know 15 minute walk you know just try and do that every day um liver supportive tea i have actually been brewing tea like nettle tea dandelion tea there's a lot of liver supportive tea blends at the store and i actually will put it in the fridge and put lemon in it and it tastes like iced tea so it's really good that you can like drink throughout the day warm water with lemon in the morning obviously i'm good at that at least um do something i love i wrote art thrifting, sports. So, you know, just getting active, doing things you love um, that, you know, for me, I found I was doing things I love, but I would do it if it like, if it was for my business or for work. So it's like actually doing something that you love that's not for work. That's like, you know, something you can chill and enjoy and whatever. Uh, earthing daily. So that's going outside and putting your feet on the ground and just connecting to, this sounds really like woohoo, connecting to the earth's energy, but it is true. And it is, um, all of our bodies have energy and this helps to balance us. And just think about how you feel when you go to the beach with your toes in the sand, or if you're just like, you know, walking on the grass in the woods, I don't know, whatever you like to do. I mean, when I do like wear no shoes and I'm outside and just, you know, enjoying 
life and appreciating everything around me i just feel so calm and my stress immediately like goes away and i just feel really happy so it's a great thing to do drinking water we already said and then i wrote make golden milk at night because i'm gonna miss my coffee so um, i never used to drink coffee until this year and now i love it so yeah, drinking golden milk or matcha lattes are definitely two things I'm gonna be making. And I will share a recipe with you guys in a video coming up for my golden milk. It's really easy and really delicious and creamy. And it has turmeric, which is really great for your gut health. So helping to repair your gut, leaky gut, helping with your liver, helping with your skin, anti-inflammatory, all the good stuff. So yeah, let's go to the health food store and I will take you guys with me. That was just my husband calling me because he found out I was going to the grocery store finally. Guys, I've been inside working like for the last four days. I'm not even kidding, like nonstop. And he's like had to cook and he's been amazing. Like he's been making me dinner and cooking and I've been kind of a butthead. So he's like, are you going to the grocery store? Can you get me food? <laughs> Here's a list, so. Yep, here we are. We're gonna go get food and we're gonna go get some healthy living necessities. Okay, so I'm on my way home. I went to the health food store and they were closing in like 10 minutes So I really had to rush in there. I didn't get a chance to show you guys like what I was getting But I will show you when I get home just like all the foods I picked up I just go to the health food store to get like more specialty foods that I can't find at the grocery store So I got like, you know, French gray sea salt and dull seaweed and uh, toasted coconut flakes and coconut water and things like that, but they didn't have any sesame seeds, which I really need for the seed cycling. They didn't have any currants and like a couple other things I really need for the recipes. So I might have to go to Whole Foods, but it's like an hour away or like 45 minutes away. So Yeah, so they say dancing and singing helps with hormone balance, so I'm trying. I'm by the way, I'm not driving. I'm I'm not driving right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need some help carrying these boys in. <laughs> gonna go get Nate. I just got home and unloaded everything behind me. <laughs> and I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but make sure that you sign up to my newsletter and then you'll get the cleanse right in your inbox for free, already planned out for you with the grocery list and everything. But a couple things I quickly wanted to show you guys were the um, these items over here. So I had gotten broccoli seeds and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like but i'm going to be doing some sprouting that is really good for um, so many things but it has so many nutrients in the broccoli especially the sulforaphane which is really good for your liver and detoxification of xenoestrogen so that's really good got a lot of coconut stuff too over here and this salt as well this is one of my favorite salts that's so rich in minerals and nutrients it's the celtic sea salt from france it's the it's basically called french gray sea salt 
so you guys can check that out. And then this is the liver health tincture that I picked up. I just wanted to show you guys a couple things in particular by Orange Naturals. This one has milk thistle, burdock, dandelion, and singing nettle. And yeah, that's, oh, and one more thing. I wanted to show you guys dolls. This is not a very well-known um, grocery item. This is seaweed. I got this at the health food store. So these are in little granules so you can put on your salad. You can put it with your, it's supposed to help break down um, the starch and beans. So you soak it with that. And I also got kombu again, which is like another seaweed that you can soak your beans in when you, well, you should be soaking your beans to help with the nutrients and to break down the starch. And yeah, that's everything I got. I will see you guys in my next video. And Nate. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>